And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to turn a black background transparent. There are two basic ways. I've got this simple clip as a background. For the other clips, let me just drag something on top, which is a Bitcoin logo. Let me scale it down first so that it has somewhat of the same size as the underlying clip, so my sequence. I have to double click on it and resize it a little bit to have it all fully covered. And you can see it has a black background on its own. I don't want to blend it in. So let's just go to the blending mode under effect controls and set it to screen. And now we can see the underlying city video footage and this logo is on top. So this is the easiest way to do that and by the way if you don't see effect controls just go to window and click on it. We also need the effects later on so click on that as well if you can't find it. Let us add a second clip which is a simple overlay. So if we wanted to use that just go to blending mode screen it's the same game. You can also see that it makes some of these bluish and orange stripes a little bit transparent as well. And we can see it best if I use this clip as an overlay. So it's a candle and a black background. Let me use the cut tool to cut it short in the timeline. And I'll resize it with a double click in the preview window. And if I set the blending mode to screen, the candle also gets a little bit transparent and that's not what we want. So let me set it back to normal and I use the Luma key in effects. So just type it in and drag and drop it on your candle footage. And now we've got it right here in effect controls so and we can use the threshold and the cutoff. Just go down with the threshold to zero and we've got the original clip. And now just go upwards, in this case like 7%. You can also add the cutoff on top but it's only minor adjustment. So this Luma key gives you a little bit of room to play with and adjust this transparency manually. So for most videos it's enough to just use the blending mode, but if it isn't enough for you, you can try the Luma key and adjust it manually. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.